hate heights. Hate them. Ready? Send it. Money. Bert, how do you feel about this one? Sir? How do you feel about this shot? Uh, I feel good about hitting it. I'm terrified about going back down this mountain. Uh, I'm deathly afraid of heights. And I'm actually going to have to beg someone to carry my gun for me because I don't think I can do both and not fall. I thought you were an athlete. I am an athlete on solid, level playing surfaces. <laughs> <laughs> He's just got a parachute. Oh man, I just want an elk with a big old frame on him. So that's what we're after. This one we're gonna let walk. It's just just getting started here. Evening number two, muscular. Let's go see what else we can find. See it right? You can see it with your naked eye. So between the two big rocks, yeah, you can see it just, with your naked eye. Just under, see the two big rocks? Yeah. It's over the middle. Just, oh yeah. Just below it right there. Took a piece of red off the top. You're not holding any wind, are you? Negative. You been? Yeah, I've been. Hey, thanks for joining us here on The Fierce Life. I'm your host, John Mogul. This week on the show, we are at Castle Valley Outdoors doing one of our long range shoots. We've got some of our customers here trying out their new fierce rifles and we're extending them long range. So let's go join them now and see what this course is all about. Kill shot that puts up and will bounce and maybe not suffer. All right, well, this morning we had class. Uh, we had a great lunch and now we just moved to outside. This is the next part of the shooting school. Whereas behind me, what we're doing is we're shooting all the guns. We are collecting ballistic information for each gun so everyone understands and shoots their own gun. So right now the guys, what they're doing is they're making sure their guns are zeroed uh, at 200 yards. They're gonna shoot at 100, get it on paper, then they're gonna move out to 200 and make sure that the gun's zeroed. Then we've got a 300 yard target, 400, 500, 600. So the guys will progressively move out as they feel comfortable with that particular yardage. So. And it's good because some of these guys, they haven't shot over 200 yards. Some of them haven't shot over 300 or 500. So as they do this, they build confidence. But as they build confidence, they also understand their gun and how it performs and the ballistics of that bullet. So um, it's, it's a great thing to do. It's also practice, which everyone should be doing before they go out and, and shoot long range. Do you see the further out? Just right there where he just shot. You're just to the right. Well, hey, we're here. We're, we're doing the first segment of our shooting school, and that is just getting our guns dialed in. We're, we start at 100 yards, and we go out to 200, all the way out to Just over him. Still over You're just high. Uh, we had a little distraction here as we were shooting. Uh, it's prairie dog season, man. There's prairie dogs running everywhere out here. And we're talking big ones here in Utah. There's very few places in Utah that have prairie dogs, and this is one of them. So uh, we're trying to draw blood. It's, I mean, if you can shoot metal or shoot prairie dogs, what are you gonna do? It's the real higher one. Yeah. He's just looking around. He's gonna come and eat his buddy. There he is. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's closing. Oh, dropped him. Oh, the sound of it. This segment of The Fierce Life is brought to you by Cryptech, Battlefield to Backcountry. Our Fierce Long Range Shooting Schools currently are being held at Castle Valley Lodge. Um, this lodge is beautiful. It's a beautiful setting. 
The lodge is fantastic. It has fan great amenities, uh, great food. Each shooter will have their own private room. And, uh, you know, there's a fishing pond when there's downtime. Guys can go fishing. Um, also, we shoot clay targets. We shoot sporting clays and different things. So there's plenty to do. Guys will bring their pistols and we'll shoot pistols and different things. So we definitely stay entertained. But uh, the great thing about it, it's wide open and the wind usually blows. And that's just what we need. We need to learn, learn the wind. And obviously, we need wide open spaces so we can shoot. You know, we were shooting out to 1,500 yards at this school effectively, and guys were just, you know, amazed that they could actually do that. Hey, shoot a lot of widgets. All right, well, we just completed gathering all of our ballistic information off the lodge, shooting at paper targets and some still targets there. We're now at the next portion where we basically come up here and put that to the test. Uh, we've got some good wind, which is always good when you're up here on the range. Shooting in the wind is better than, perfect, better than shooting in perfect conditions because you get to practice because it's never going to be perfect when you're up on the mountains. Another great thing about what we're doing here is in a hunting situation, in a real hunting situation, the animals aren't going to sit there all day long. So we're really hustling the guys after the first target to range, dope, adjust, and shoot. It was a miss. He, he shot the square plate, not the, not, not the mountain lion. Where's the mountain lion? The lower orange one. <laughs> it's the target that looks like a mountain lion. <laughs> oh, was it really the wrong one? <laughs> yeah. He shot the square. Oh. Was... That one shot the plate. Freaking <laughs> drilled it. Right in the right blue. Here. Clay. Right in the blue. Really? Yeah. Drilled it. Okay, now, that's, now if you want you shoot the mountain lion, go then go to the square plate. And how far is the it's square? Four, 480. 480. Bingo! Nice shot. I don't know, we need to check that one. Right in the blue. <laughs> Two in the blue right there. Two hammer bolts. How can I shoot the plate? <laughs> 480. 480? Yeah. Plate's 480? Yeah. You already hit the plate, shoot something down. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Got it. Actually, it's, four, it's 490. 490, my bad. Okay, now what's the top one? The yellow one? What's the yellow one, Mike? 490. 490. The yellow one? Yeah. Yellow one's 580? 580. 580. Yeah. 575. Nice. Great shot. Where are you going to play? The bear? Yellow. Yellow. Or the yellow? I want to play. Okay. Nice shot. Both Got of you, great shots. Go to the bear. 500, 509, 509 on the bear. Yellow play. Yeah. Bear. Bear. bear, bear. Both of them are on the bear. Yeah. Okay. Good. Dead bear. Bingo. Bingo. Hey, way to miss all oh, those. Miss? <laughs> the bear's 500? 509, yep. It's fine, right, anyway. shooting, guys. Set him up, knock him down. <laughs> Great shot. Money. I hit the red? Yep. Yeah. Right at the bottom of the red. Dead bear, heart shot. Ah, I don't know. I, maybe we shouldn't have cleaned that gun. We need to go get that red one. <laughs> that's pretty good. They come over here and everybody's one shooting everything out to 600 yards. That's pretty yeah, good. What the crap?
This segment of The Fierce Life is brought to you by Limb Saver, products that work. At our Fierce Long Range Shooting School, we focus on several of the fundamentals to make you a better long range shooter. We talk in depth about your rifle and optics. In order to be an effective long range shooter and hunter, you have to have the right equipment to do that. And at Fierce, we feel that with our rifles, we have the, the right equipment to help you become the best you can be at shooting long range. All of our Fierce Firearms models, whether it's the Fury or all the way up to our top of the line model, the CT Edge or even our CT Edge Tactical Bingo. model, every model comes with a half MOA accuracy guarantee. One half, not one inch. Uh, don't let that deceive you. There's so many companies out there that give a, a one inch or a one, one MOA accuracy guarantee and for a lot of shooters that's fine. Um, if, if an inch at 100 yards is, is if you feel good with that, then, then that's fantastic. But we strive for better here at Fierce, and our rifles are definitely all about precision accuracy. I had John and the guys at Fierce build me this uh, carbon titanium edge. Uh, had it two years, uh, taking elk, taking doll sheep with it. Uh, it's got a Swarvo Z5, 5 to 25 on it. Got it. Shoots uh, less than half yeah. MOA. Um, I currently hand load uh, some Barnes Triple Shock, but it, when John sent it to me, it was shooting 250 uh, Hornady boat tails, about uh, 3 8 inch um, groups at 100. It's fantastic. Um, usually I shoot it hunting without a break, but I, uh, I forgot my break at home, so uh, I'm shooting in some here uh, while I'm at the school, and uh, it's a lot of fun. What is it? Two two three? Yeah, two two three. <laughs> Kicks just like a two two three. Three thirty eight. You want to try it? Uh, I'll try it later. Right. Three thirty eight Lapua, big boy. Hey Mike, what's the one place down on the ground? Got it. Hey, I think that was Eight. dead on center. Was it? Yeah. It took about a week for the sound to get back. Yeah. Do you mind telling us what you're shooting? Yes, yeah, six. Hold on a second. Huh? Shooting a Fierce Farm 6.5 Creedmoor, 143 grain ELDX bullets, factory ammo, 800 yards, dead center. Just now? Yes, sir. Is that the furthest you shot here? What? Is that the furthest? That's the furthest shot we've taken so far. It's much quieter than the Lapuas. Yes, absolutely. 600. Six hanging, right side. There's no thinking. Hold left side of flight. Got it. The sound just got back. Yeah, exactly. Yes, sir. <laughs> what, do you, what do you like about that gun? Oh, it's just the, the, the smooth, the, the weight, number one. You, you get an accurate gun with a, uh, with a light weight to carry. Uh, titanium action, smooth. Uh, shoots lights out. Got it. It's two. Got the rock, a thousand? Thousand. Boom. First two shots. This lined up on a thousand twenty yard shot with a six five creed four. Excuse me. Here's six point five creed more, 143 game bullets. Uh, oh, yeah, first time at a thousand yards, uh, two consecutive hits. Fantastic. Having a great time. Well hey guys, I'm here with Courtney, um, sales manager here at Fierce, but what we wanted to do is just take a second and talk about two different long range rifle packages. We have one set up in a, what we would call our ultimate hunting uh, long range package and that's one of our edge model rifles with a Zeiss scope set up in a custom yardage turret system. And then here we have our Fury long range set up in a MOA turret type system. Courtney, maybe tell the guys briefly a little bit about both those systems. Both systems are, are great and it, it all comes down to the end user. Uh, this particular one with a custom yardage turret, we go out, we gather the ballistic information, uh, do a drop chart, send it off and have an actual custom turret laser cut for this particular gun and bullet that's associated with it. Uh, the great thing about this with guys out there that, that need something quick, uh, it's a yardage. So you range something to 400 yards, you dial to the 400, lay the crosshairs on it 
and pull the trigger. You know, and the words, in the words from our customers, this one's probably the most dummy proof. Now this system here, Courtney's more more advanced. For the guys that want to be more precise and be able to dial in all the way, maybe out to 1,000, 1,200. I've got a rifle and a 300 wind mag that I, I dial in MOA out past 1,500 yards. Tell us a little bit about this one. Yeah, very much so. The MOA system's very good, and you see a lot of people going to that as well, a little bit more on the more advanced level. Um, you know, the MOA, you can, whether you have a, you know, an app on your phone, um, or you have some of these range finders, like we like to use the SIG, the 2,400 kilo ABS, which is a great, range finder that, that has everything built into it that will give you your MOA, but you can you can change for different environmentals and elevation on your app, different bullets, things like that. So this one, you know, you can use multiple different bullets and adapt the MOA, whereas the turret, you know, it's with that one bullet that you have. So there is some advantages, you know, but this is also very dummy proof. So Courtney's going to give you a quick demonstration of how both turret systems work at a target out at 600 yards. Yeah, we'll show them just how easy both setups are. Sounds good. So I'll range this target out here at 600 yards. And, and this is all set up on, on a SIG. So this is set up for actually the six or a 300 wind mag. So it's gonna give them the precise MOA turrets, but it'll give you an example of how it works. So 600 yards yardage turret. What do we do? We simply dial to the 600 yard mark. Turn to 600 yards, boom. Bingo, right there and then. Now, I just ranged it with the SIG range finder. We have all the information for this particular gun in here for this 300 Win Mag, and uh, it says that I need to dial to 11 MOA. So what do I do? I just simply dial, there's 10, there's 11. 11 MOA, 600 yards, boom, bingo. Here at Fierce, not only do we build the best rifles we feel on the planet, uh, we can set them up long range for you, take all the work, out of it for you because once again unless you got a buddy out that can go out and spot for you um, and all those different things we can we can set it up for you when you get it verify it's on at 200 yards extend it on out you're ready to go do long range shooting and once again we're not going to say hunting because you've got to go put in the time to be a long range hunter and um, these systems certainly will you can go out and we can say at five six hundred yards you know you're good if you verify it at 200 but to go beyond that, you got to go practice. And certainly, if you're going to go shoot at animals, you got to put in the time and you need to be very efficient and effective at long range before you do that. 100%. So that's what we can do for you at Fierce. Give us a call, order your rifle, get a long range package. We're here for you. Yep. We'll be here to help you every step of the way. If you got steps, questions about range finders or any of that stuff. And we got people that call us almost daily about questions. And so that's what we're here for. But really, it's long range made easy right here at Fierce. This segment of The Fierce Life is brought to you by Fierce Firearms. Ferocious performance, deadly accurate. The highlight or the pinnacle of our shooting school is the very last event. It's our shooting competition. What we do is we gather all the participants and we create a course up the mountain and we have different targets in different uh, situations, whether the, whether the hunter is, or the shooter is shooting offhand at 100 yards, or from a sitting position at 400 yards, or prone at 1,000 yards. We have all these different scenarios, and this is always the highlight of the school, and the guys love it, and uh, we have a lot of fun, a lot of laughs, and uh, you know, and then we, we reward the winner at the end, so let's check it out and see how the guys do here in the shooting competition. Hey guys, my name is Bert Ferris. I'm here at the Fierce Firearms Long Distance uh, School. We're out today shooting in real world conditions all across the beautiful parts of the state. Um, we're shooting extreme angles, we're shooting across valleys, we're shooting extreme angles down, um, shooting off mountaintops. It's, it's completely unbelievable. Um, and it's great because we're really learning about real world conditions that you're gonna come in, it's gonna come into play when you're hunting animals all across the country. Um, the instructors here are amazing. They make you understand what they're saying in terms that you can understand. Um, everyone's super great, um, having a wonderful time, and look forward to coming back and shooting with these guys again. That was my last shot on the hill. Yeah, so we, the, the last shot we did, um, 
it was up um, up on a, the, a steep mountainside, if you will, shooting across a valley into um, another mountain uh, range. And uh, I'm not great with heights, so I um, I was pretty scared going up. Um, settled down. It was an 800-yard shot across the valley, and I hit it on my first try. Thanks to some great instruction by the Pierce instructors. Sir, how do you feel about this shot? Uh, I feel good about hitting it. I'm terrified about going back down this mountain. Uh, I'm deathly afraid of heights, and I'm actually going to have to beg someone to carry my gun for me because I don't think I can do both and not fall. I thought you were an athlete. I am an athlete on solid level playing surfaces. <laughs> sure, my name is Nathan Everly, uh, born and raised in Alaska, live now in uh, South Florida, really enjoy long range shooting. Finally made it out to uh, the long range shooting academy that Pierce is putting on here. Uh, it's been a great two days. We're finishing up today, the second day. Uh, it's been an amazing afternoon. We've been shooting in this beautiful canyon. Uh, anywhere from uh, a short shot of 100, uh, offhand to uh, 800 yards across this beautiful canyon. Um, it's been been a lot of fun, some real challenges, and uh, a lot to learn. My name's Jeff, I'm from Scottsdale, Arizona. Uh, great experience, a lot of fun. Never thought I own a gun that could shoot this accurate, nor did I think I could ever reach out to 1,400 yards. How far were you shooting before you came here? Four or 500. Yeah. How's your weekend been? Fantastic, a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Guys are fun. The crew that works here is fun. It's a great time. Can't wait to come back. Thank you for watching this week's episode of The Fierce Life. Please join us again next week for more exciting action.